Hello and welcome back to End Survival. In the last episode we made this awesome looking armor right here. We have now the crystallite helmet, the elytra crystallite, the crystallite leggings and the crystallite boots all fully enchanted. Well, almost. As you can see we are missing unbreaking on the elytra crystallite. And I believe we are, yep, we are also missing on breaking three on the boots. No, not the, not the chest plate. The chest plate is good. So yeah, we're missing on breaking on the crystallite elytra and the crystallite boots. And that is something that we will be doing. Uh, wait, do I have? Yes. Today. <laughs> and also, I am playing currently with complementary shaders. And I must say, they make this place look so awesome. I think I'm going to roll with it in today's episode. Let me know. Oh. Let me know what you think down below. But I think before we do anything, it is time to harvest these... Oh, I almost said blueberries. Shadowberries. I think it is about time that we harvest these guys again. And after that harvest, we now have one, two, three, four, five, six... Six and a half stacks of shadow berries plus almost four full stacks of shadow berry seeds. Not a bad harvest whatsoever. But I think because the shadow berries grow so fast and since I already have more than three stacks of shadow berries cooked in here, I think all of them are going to go towards getting me even more bone meal. I think that is a worthy cause. Now before we continue any further with today's episode, we need to add a sign to the Patreon tree. A huge shout out to Charles Roberto, hopefully I'm saying your name right, for becoming a Patreon supporter. And if you wish to support my content over on Patreon and potentially get your name on this lovely tree right here, there's a link down below in the description. And once again, a huge shout out to Charles Roberto for becoming a Patreon supporter. And thank you to everyone who supports me over on Patreon. But now time to be doing some infusions. So, I have prepared some things over here in the inventory. As you can see, we have the Outbreaking book right here, which we can go ahead and use in the infusion pedestal. But in the last episode, we had the issue of not being able to make mending books because we need Bottle of Enchanting. But I have, since that episode, I have updated my custom uh, crafting data pack and we are now able to create bottles of enchanting using the infusion pedestal. So if we combine Lapis Lazuli here together with Crystal Shards with a water bottle, I know it says uncraftable potion, but a water bottle does count. <laughs> and we will then be able to get a bottle of enchanting. I think that is fair because if we had access to the overworld, well, we would be able to get bottles of enchanting, so I think that is fair. Also, considering that Lapis Lazuli is kind of expensive for us, I think that is fair in that regard as well. Now, my main concern right now are the petals. Uh, do we need... Uh, we need petals for the vending books as well. I don't know where we get these petals from. I will need to do some research on that, because we need four... Four? Yeah, I believe we need four more, but first let us focus on the Unbreaking books. Actually, we need a lot more than that. I want to start making the Unbreaking books here, because I want to get Unbreaking on the Crystallite boots and the Elytra Crystallite. So for this recipe, we need three diamonds per book, so we need another two Unbreaking 1 books to combine into Unbreaking 2. So we need four Unbreaking... We need actually eight, sorry, Unbreaking 1 books in total. So three times eight, that is eight, sixteen, twenty-four... <laughs> oh dear, twenty-four diamonds. That's expensive, but that is worth it, though. That is 100% worth it. So we would also need 8 times 4, 8, 16, 32. We would need 32 raw amber turned into lapis lazuli, which is then, wow, two, two, <laughs> two stacks of aurora crystal shards. There's got to be a lot of infusing in today's episode. Uh, how much do I have in here? Four, huh? I'm going to take these out because... Yeah, yeah, I set this uh, hopper system up in the last episode, and I'm actually quite happy with it. It makes uh, it makes making stuff like this a whole lot easier, because all I gotta do is add this, add that, add this, and add this, and then add this here, and it just goes. All I need to do is sit here and right-click this infusion pedestal when it's done, and it just keeps going. It makes this process a 
whole lot easier. So I'm going to sit here and um, I'm actually going to sit on this side so I get the the insect sounds. I'm going to sit here, get all these, and I'm going to do a little bit of research on where to get those petals from because we are going to need quite a few. And I will be right back. All right, 32 Lavis Lazuli has been created. And I have done some research and I think I know where... I Hey, buddy. I think I know where I can find set uh, petals. At least I hope. I'm going to set up a little bit of a project barrel right here. So these are the diamonds, and that is the Lapis Lazuli for the Unbreaking books. Then I also need 32... No, wait a minute. Eight books. I need eight books. Whoa. I, uh, I forgot I had this many books on me. Right. Actually, I will need 12 in total, because we also want four. Actually, five mending books. Wait a minute. Yes, this has Unbreaking uh, 3 as well. Good. Wait. Where did I... Eh? I placed them in the same chest I took them from and didn't bring them with me. Uh, Alright, so everything we're missing now are the petals. And that's my phone. I will be placing my Crystallite Elytra right here, and I will be using this one which has Unbreaking and Mending, just in case. So I just want to make sure that I have enough rockets with me, which I don't think I do. So I'm going to make some more. Alright, add that, get the con powder, get the paper, and boom. That should be enough rockets. And with that, let's go. This looks absolutely amazing with the shaders on. Like this is... <laughs> this is incredible. And we are here already. Right, so I'm not 100% sure what I'm looking for. I think... That's definitely not it. I may have to take some trips, but I do have respiration on this thing, so I can actually breathe underwater here for quite a while. I think I need to go down here. Yes, I remember now, actually. I remember how I got the original pelts. These are it right here. These pelts. The, well, these pelts. <laughs> these plants right here. I wonder if I'm able to farm these, because these are saplings. I would assume that I can farm these. We will try when we get home, but these are it right here. So you need to go down into these vents in order to get them. That's really, really cool, actually. And I do need to mind my breath, but I should be good. Right. 16... Oh, no. <laughs> Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Uh, can I get out, please? Anywhere. Just don't trap me. Okay. We made it 16 uh, petals. I think that's enough. Yep, that should be enough. And we have 12 saplings. So that actually, I think, is everything that we need from this place. Now, I will really quickly experiment here because we have our farms. I just wonder... Do I have Depth Strider? Oh, I have Depth Strider. Oh, that's very nice. <laughs> okay, I'm going to try and place one right here. No, I guess I guess you need to place it on the on like the the brimstone. I think that is something that we might do in the very near future because yeah, I I want farms. I like farms, so having a farm with these might be useful. So we'll probably do that maybe in the next episode. Well then, turns out I have eight other saplings in here and also four extra petals. Right, I um hmm, I'm gonna place the saplings in here just so I remember to try and make a farm of them in the future. But now I just need to make them into enchanted petals. I'm not sure how many will I need. I think 13. I think I will be needing 13, which means I will be needing, yep, a lot more Aurora Crystal Shards. Do I have, I think I have, I wonder if Fortune works on those crystals, I'm not sure. I'm gonna bring it just in case, because, well, it's gonna be better. This is extremely bright. But I won't complain, because it's beautiful. Two stacks should do. Whoops. <laughs> well, they can't do much damage now, so I'm happy about that. And now it's time to make them into enchanted petals. I'll be right back when that is done. And that is 13 enchanted petals right there. We need eight for these and then five for the mending books. But this all here should be enough to complete 
the Unbreaking Books. So let's see if I remember the recipe correctly. I believe diamond, 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 lapis all around in the corners, an enchanted petal right there, and a book in the middle, which should result, I believe, in an in Unbreaking One book. It's all being fused together and unbreaking one right there. So I basically need to repeat this, well, seven more times, and then we will have eight enchanted books in total of unbreaking one, which we then just need to combine into two unbreaking three books. Now I don't have any of these corners automated, so I've automated everything else. All I need to do is right click in the obsidian and then click out the book once that is done, which makes this, like I said before, a lot easier than clicking everything. And finally, the eighth book is just about complete. We now have seven in total here and this should finish in just a minute, maybe, potentially. Okay, yeah, there we go. Perfect. Eight unbreaking one books in total. So now all we gotta do is head on over to this anvil and combine one book with one and we get unbreaking two. Do that again and then we get unbreaking three. So if we do that again, just like this, we have now two unbreaking three books, which we can then put on our boots, which needed and wait a minute, that is the elytra crystallite. Let's see how expensive this is going to be. Okay, that's actually not bad at all. And six levels again. Again, that is not expensive whatsoever. So I can now retire my old El Elytra and equip the brand new armor. But we are not quite done because I want to get mending on everything because it would be such a shame to see this break. So the mending books, okay, they're, they're a bit expensive. I didn't realize that was an anvil, but we need if we need five of these books, we need 10 bottles of enchanting in total. So that should be fairly easy to get. I just want to make sure that I have the iron for the anvils. Um, no, I do not. <laughs> I most certainly do not have enough. Hmm. Have I collected any anvils? Okay, I do have one. So this means that I have two. Okay, and I should, with the remaining iron, be able to make three in total. Yep, just like that, with three iron ingots to spare. I need two more anvils, um, and I don't think I have any more laying around. I do, unfortunately, not have a single anvil remaining. I'm trying to think what place would have an anvil. I seem to remember that these shipwrecks have anvils but that the end cities might also have anvils. So I might visit this place right here, which is a little bit of a flight, but I think it might be worth it. Time to go on a little bit of an adventure. Even if I'm not able to find any anvils over here, I should still be able to maybe get some, well, we found plenty of, uh, in cities in the last episode, I believe it was. So maybe I will be just able to find enough iron to make all the anvils that I need. We will have to see. Here is the first end city. I'm gonna check the top chambers first. This might be a little bit chaotic. I'm gonna swap out to my chest plate here and we're gonna jump straight in. Right, shulker boxes. Uh, that's Oh, here we <laughs> here we go. If I quickly block this off, we should be good to loot this stuff right here. All I need is iron, and looks like we have plenty here. Glare. Do I have that already? I feel like... Well, I guess we'll have to see. I'm only going to take the useful items, which are going to be the emeralds, the gold, and the iron. Uh, I'm not going to take any of the armor because it probably won't be useful to us. That has silk touch. I'm pretty sure I already have a silk touch one. Yeah, I'm gonna take these. Already have the glare. Yeah, I think we will get actually enough iron just from looting these chests right here. That's actually, that's actually perfect. This part is gonna be a bit tedious or dangerous. Never mind. Efficient. 
Haha, -ha, would you look at that? Okay, we don't quite have enough iron, but I'm just gonna... Okay, I'm not just gonna drop down <laughs> and get that terminite block. Okay, right, this is, uh... It's gonna be one of those. Yep, okay, this might take a few attempts. Never mind, it took one. Come on, let me out! Okay, oh boy. Uh, oh boy, oh boy. Hmm, oh boy, uh-oh. <laughs> <laughs> Bad idea. Okay, here we go. Fly! <laughs> Phew, okay. Right, oh! Um, right, I, I knew, I knew I had seen animals before. Right, um, I'm not gonna take those if we have enough iron down here, because I feel like that might be a little bit too cheating. Maybe? Okay, we have just enough iron here. I don't think I'm gonna take the ones on the ship itself. I feel like that might be a bit too easy. Then again, I've taken the wool and I'm just gonna go. <laughs> I'm just gonna go if I can here. Nope, no I can't. Okay, there we go. We should have enough now. I have, yes, okay. We should have enough. I will stop by and take some extra loot just in case, but then we should be done here. Ooh, end seeker. I don't think, strange and alien. I don't think we have these before. I don't think we've gotten those. Um. But anyways, I now have a stack and a half, pretty much, of... Oh, wow. A stack and a half of... Oh, I forgot about this. <laughs> of iron. I think that should do. I also grabbed this because it has looting three. Um, but I think that that is it. Well, there's a terminite block at the, at the bottom of this, of course, which I probably should try and get, if at all possible. Yes, perfect. All right. Whew. Uh, which way is home? That way. All right. I'll see you at home. <laughs> that was successful. And we are home. Let's take a quick look if we have... Wait, where, where's my... Where are my music discs? Aha. Okay. Uh, so we already have Ender Seeker. We already have Strange and Alien. And we yet already have Grasping Stars. And yet Glare as well. Okay. <laughs> We have quite a few duplicates here. Right. Oh, well. Uh, extras for the extras, right? Speaking of extras, we did get an extra spare elytra, which is cool. And a bunch of diamonds to top our diamond supply up. Very handy. And now we should be able to do all of the anvils, finally. So let us go ahead and do that right away. We need six blocks of iron in total. And that... I already made too many there. Boom. Perfect. Five anvils. Okay, that required a little bit of resource gathering, but with that, we are now good. So now we should have everything except for the lapis and the bottle of enchanting. So we need ten bottles of enchanting, meaning I need ten bottles of glass, which of course I've turned all my glass into glass panes. I should, yep, have a bunch of endstone dust, which I can just go ahead and smelt really quickly. I'm glad that we have a bunch of charcoal now. We're getting to the point where we're not really low on any resource, which is handy. I all of a sudden got a little bit scared because I don't know if we have enough raw amber. Uh, we need 10 for this. I believe if my... No, wait. Hmm. We need 10 bottles of enchanting, which we need, which means we need 20 raw amber. And then... We also need four of these, so that is four times five, so that is twenty. Okay, I think if my math isn't wrong, that we should be good. And that is twelve glass bottles, we should only need ten if my math is correct. Which, let's be real, it probably isn't, but there we go, that should be good. And we should now be ready, I think, yes. I believe we are. So the first thing we need to make are the bottles of enchanting. Now these are my custom, again, recipe. You can download my data pack over on my website, link down below in the description. But if I am not mistaken, actually I need to make lapis first. I'll be right back once all the lapis has been made. Okay, I should have everything that I need now to make the bottles of enchanting that we require. So lapis in these two right here, and then I need 20 in total. So 10 aurora crystals on this side. 10 over here, and then I should be able to just put in water bottles in the center. 
I'll add these to this. Unfortunately, they do not stack. And there we have it. Enchant bottle of enchanting. We need 10 of these because we want to make five books in total. So this should be fairly quickly to do. This is awesome. However, definitely not worth making unless they are used to be used in a crafting recipe. Otherwise, yeah, just a little bit too expensive, maybe. There we go, 10 bottles of enchanting. The next and final thing I will need is 20 more lapis lazuli for the books, and then we are ready to finally be making the mending books. All right, it is finally time to make the mending books. So let's see if I remember the recipes correctly. So lapis lazuli in the corners, as always, an anvil in the end here, an enchanted petal at the top, and a book in the middle and bottle of enchanting right there should make and let's try and get a screenshot of that a mending book i'm not sure how long this process is oh there we go and mending right there that is awesome so now i just need to make four more of those and we will be able to take it on all of our crystallite armor. And final. Five mending books in total. Let's head on over to the enchanting area. I guess we kind of need a name for it. Let me, yeah, give, give me name suggestions for the enchanter place spawner enderman farm thingy. <laughs> <laughs> down below in the comments here because I yeah, I guess we do need to place Well, I said place because I thought of placing torches here. I guess we do need uh, to call this place something I Not able to speak anymore. Apparently I will be placing some light in here because it is a bit dark At least using these shaders. There we go. I went here thinking we would attach it to the armor But I realized mine will it's back home. But while we're here, I get... Oh, you're not supposed to be here. I don't like these guys. <laughs> I really don't like them. There we go. Anyway. Uh-oh. Okay. Nope. <laughs> nah, nah, nah. <laughs> Let me bring my anvil with me. The reason why I'm going here in the first place is because we will need to be here. Okay, that looks kind of cursed, but you know what? We're gonna go with it. It's because I don't think I have enough levels to do this, so I'm gonna use the Enderman Farm for a little bit. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's gonna help a little bit. I'll fix this levitation issue later. All right, I guess we shall try the chest plate first. And there we go. Protection 4, Unbreaking 3, Mending just for two levels. Wow. I hear more of those mites in the area, so I'm gonna do one of these armor at a time. Nine levels for this one, that is quite fair because we already put unbreaking on it. Nice, all of this armor will get mending. I'm gonna use it, do the Elytra next just because... Ah, nine levels. Yep, this is why I went down here. Because we will need more levels. All right. The elytra, just like that. And as you can see, the boots has been repaired just from me standing there for a little bit. Two levels on the leggings and they have mending as well. And now for the helmet, wait, if I do it the right way around. Ah, two levels. <laughs> I'm a bit short. Three levels should do the trick. And boom. And just like that, all of our armor, including our spare chest plate, has been given mending, and look at this. That is awesome. Hopefully I will not have any of this armor break on me with this mending now on us. Now, since we have all the armor, it would only make sense that we have upgraded and better weaponry and tools. Now, I have a Terminite pickaxe, and I'm just comparing here. The Diamond Sword is 7 attack damage and 1.6 attack speed, and so is the Terminite. There's no real upgrade there. The next in the line would be the Aeternium Etern sword right here, which, yeah, that <laughs> things are starting to get really, really expensive here. Um, yeah, but that is further down the road. I definitely want to have 
this Eternium. I don't know about the armor, since we've just spent so long getting the Crystal Light armor, I don't know if we will ever be needing this. I mean, getting an upgrade will definitely be cool and all, but the really good thing about this Crystal Light armor as well is the set bonus for regeneration and speed as well. So I don't know if I really want to go away from that, but having the tools and whatnot, that will definitely be very handy and very useful. But guys, that is going to be it for today's episode. I really hope you have enjoyed this one. If you did, be sure to leave a like. And if you're new, consider subscribing. This has been really fun getting all of this armor. And yeah, again, let me know down below in the comments if you have any name suggestions for this place. We can call it something specific. I think that would be kind of cool. Once again, huge shout out to all my Patreon supporters. Greatly appreciate it. If you are interested in that, you can check out the link down below in the description or go to patreon.com slash binary vigilante. But that's going to be it for this video. Hope you enjoyed it. If you did, you might enjoy the video on the right right now. Highly suggest you check it out or the video on the left. You know, that's also an option. But anyways, hope you enjoyed. Check out one of those two videos and I hope to see you in the next one. Have a wonderful day and goodbye.